Winter had arrived, and the river was covered with a thick layer of ice. One morning, a farmer went out to attend to some matters, braving the cold wind. From dawn until noon, he had not eaten or drunk anything, and his stomach was growling with hunger. He thought, I need to find a place to rest for a while. He sat down by the roadside and took out some dry food from his pocket, eating it in big bites. Suddenly, he noticed a frozen snake on the ground beside him. The snake lay limp, appearing to be dead. The farmer thought to himself, This snake is just frozen. It looks like it can still be revived. He picked up the snake and placed it in his bosom. But then he remembered that snakes could bite people, and if it bit him once it woke up, his life would be over. Thinking of this, the farmer threw the frozen snake back to the ground and stood up to continue on his way. After walking a bit, his steps slowed down as he thought, Yes, snakes can bite people, but if I save it, I will be its savior. How could it repay kindness with hatred and bite me? Impossible! Absolutely impossible! He reassured himself. Turning back, the farmer walked over to the frozen snake again. This kind-hearted farmer bent down, picked up the snake, and placed it next to his skin in his bosom, then continued on his way. After walking for a while, the farmer felt the snake move a bit in his bosom. He thought, Great! It looks like this snake can be revived. After walking for a while longer, the snake suddenly started moving vigorously, then it bit deeply into the farmer's warm chest. Ouch! The farmer cried out in pain, clutching his chest. He threw the wretched snake to the ground and choked it to death. But the snake's venom had already entered the farmer's bloodstream and quickly spread to his heart. The farmer's vision blurred, and finally he fell to the ground and died. The story of the farmer and the snake teaches us that we should not show kindness to evil people. Their malicious nature will not change, and pitting them can lead to endless troubles.